Okay, so now that we got our walls glued to the floor, we're going to go ahead and do the roof. Um, so, don't forget to bring the roof in. We're just going to test fit it and see how everything looks. And uh, hopefully it'll fit up there. Hopefully the walls ain't too far apart. So, we'll grab the roof and uh, test fit it. All right, so I got the uh, roof uh, placed on top for a test fit. Basically, we're looking to see if we're flush on uh, on the walls here and the ceiling. So as you can tell, this is uh, flush here, but we have an overhang wall comes out farther than the uh, ceiling here. And then we'll uh, take a look at this side and see got an overhang here too so for this time the roofs overhanging the wall but this side is flush so this wall is uh, in the proper place but that wall is kind of rotated back so what that's telling me is that side of the floor needs to be lifted up so that it rotates the wall forward so what we need to do rotate that or lift space that floor down there uh, up a bit until we get it flush on all four corners all right so on my setup I'm just going to take uh, some pieces of wood I'm going to place it right under here on the uh, table and uh, we'll put a couple underneath there and uh, see if we can't get this to uh, line up. All right. So I added this uh, basically. It's a one by two there. Um, we still have an overhang on this back side. Probably about a quarter inch or so. This side's looking good, but I'm going to show you something here. So what I've done is I've taken just a piece of wood that I have around. And I just kind of, you know, make sure everything's flush here. Just take it and kind of push up against it. Make sure the roof is flush against the uh, front edge here. As you can tell, it looks pretty good. But the problem I'm having is I still have an overhang here. So this is uh, part of the problem you're going to find sometimes when working with foam. Uh, a little bit of inconsistency. So not really sure if the uh, wall is a little short up there or if the uh, roof's a little long. But one of those panels is wrong. But uh, basically, I'm going to work from the front to the back. So I want to make sure everything's up front is straight so that I got no work to do up front when this is done. But if I need to, I can go ahead and sand this back wall down a little bit if I have to. So I'm going to try a little trick first. I'm going to go ahead and flip the uh, roof around and see if I get a little better result. If it's better, then I'll leave it. If it's the same, I'll leave it. If it is worse, then I'll flip it back around and and uh, I'll leave it as it is, and we'll just deal with this uh, at a later date. Alright, so I 
flip the roof around. Let's see if we get um, a different result. So, just want to make sure we get this wall kind of straight here. All right. Go ahead and take our piece and make sure we're nice and flush against the front wall. All right, now let's go check the back and uh, see how it's looking. Well, I would venture to say that the uh, side wall is probably just a little short up there. So, like I said, not a big deal. Um, it's just going to require a little sanding when we uh, finish up our outside. So I'm not going to worry about it, and you shouldn't either sides for nice and flush so we're going to go ahead and do a do a glue up then all right so now we're getting now we need to get this roof ready to glue up so let's go ahead and check our uh make sure we're flush still on the ends All right, check this side, fairly flush, and uh, of course we have this little overhang, but we're not going to worry about that right now. All right, so uh, we need to hold the uh, wall steady as we glue the uh, roof, and we don't want the roof shifting around, so what we're going to do, we're going to use our... Uh, our skewers. We're going to get the side wall where we want it. So I just use a piece of wood so I can just kind of make sure that everything's flush there. Then take the skewer and just poke in through the roof and into the side wall. Might need to kind of rotate it as you go. And I usually try and go towards the edge as much as possible because this can drift and we don't want it poking on the inside. So if it does happen to poke on the inside here, we're not uh, causing a problem with our already laid canvas. So, All right, so we're just going to go ahead and do that at each corner and, and in the middle of the uh, wall ceiling as well. All right, so now I'm in the middle of the wall. All right, now we'll do the other side. at the front so we can make sure everything's flush the way it should be. So I, I put these skewers in, and you want to be real careful when you put them in, especially in the center of the wall, because they can drift one way or the other, and you don't want them, you know, poking out on your canvas side. So just put your hand on the back side. If you feel it starting to poke through, uh, just pull it back out and try again. 
Um, basically, this these skewers will just help hold the walls as we glue it um, in place so that it doesn't drift one way or the other. Alright, so now that we got the skewers in there, don't worry if they kind of drift a little bit. Go ahead and take a piece of wood. Let's go ahead and kind of hold the skewer in place and lift it. So, group up and push this piece of wood in. Lift the uh, foam up, put this piece of wood in. Okay, so we've spaced the uh, roof up a ways from the body. And now we're ready to apply the Gorilla Glue. Okay, so we're ready to, to glue the wall to the roof. So I'm going to take uh, the Gorilla Glue and I've cut fairly radical angle on the tip just so I can kind of get up underneath here. So we're just going to go ahead and put, I'm going to put two pretty good sized beads of glue in. One on the inside, pretty much along the inside edge, best I can. And then we'll do one on the outside. And we'll just continue on along the top here. Alright, so once we get to the end, go ahead and hold the ceiling up, pull your piece out, and then uh, go ahead and apply glue to the head corner or the end. And just let the roof come down. Same thing on this side, just uh, hold the, the ceiling up, pick your spacer out, and then uh, apply glue to the end here. And then just let the uh, roof come down, make sure everything looks like it's lining up fairly decent, and go ahead and just go ahead and uh, squish it down. I'm not too concerned that the wall is lined up right at the moment because we're going to do the we're going to glue up the other side and then we'll make sure everything's lined up and then we're going to clamp it down. All right, so we're going to glue the other side. Put our spacers in. Apply two beads of uh, real glue.
Okay, once we get to the end here, we're just gonna go ahead and remove the spacer. Apply Gorilla glue, glue to the end here. Let it down. And again, we're gonna remove the spacer. Apply the Gorilla Glue to the end here, where the spacer was. Let it down. All right. Right now, let's go ahead and make sure we're in fairly straight there. Then just uh, go ahead and pull down on it. All right, so we pulled down on it. So the glue's made contact now. Okay, so as you can tell, the uh, skewers held everything in place as we worked on both sides of the trailer so that if you glued one side and the glue wasn't dry, then you start messing with the other side, it'd slide all over the place and we didn't want glue all over. So it's basically why the skewers are there because it helps when you slide it up, holds everything in place. So when it comes back down, it's pretty close to the same location as it was when you moved it up. So now that we've got both sides glued up, we're gonna go ahead and take the skewers out and we're gonna put our one by threes across the top. All my skewers are out. You can put them aside if you want to plan on making another bug out at some point. And now we're going to move, uh, put the one by threes across the top. All right, one by threes are on. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my ratchet straps over. Put the ratchet straps over and then hook onto again just put it through the eye of the hook all right let's put a little bit of tension on it not a whole lot not yet it's kind of enough to hold the ratchet strap in place because we're going to have to move the wall in and out but we want to get all our straps on first Just tightening until it takes a little bit of the slack up. Not real tight yet. So I got the ratchet straps on here fairly loose right now because um, we don't want to put a lot of tension on it yet. As you can tell, I got them just hooked onto our uh, eye bolts that we put in earlier. And, uh, and we got our 
one by three going across the top. Right, so I'm just going to use a piece of wood and I'm going to make sure that the wall is flush with the top here. And you'll feel the glue kind of push, give you a little resistance as you push against the wall. You might have to have somebody help you out by holding the other side as you push in. Uh, sometimes you might have to pull out, get it flush. want it as flush as we can get it. So it's kind of wanting to wander back on me. We'll, we'll tighten down the uh, straps a little bit. Uh, kind of help alleviate that. I'm sure I'm going to go and do the other side. that your ends are flush as well. Okay, so I've kind of roughed it out. So let's go ahead and make sure our uh, wood is situated on top properly. Okay, so once I put the uh, one by three across the top, I'm going to go ahead and add some uh, some flashing to the side here. At each location that the strap comes over, this will help keep this uh, wood from being slid over and causing the uh, straps to dig into the foam. Okay, so you do want to make sure that the flashing that you use comes down past the uh, the wood and onto the edge of the of the roof line, so that it doesn't slide over or you tighten it back down. Okay, so we can go ahead and put a little bit more pressure on the roof. Make sure everything's holding in the right place. If you're concerned about the ratchet straps digging into the foam, you can use a scrap piece of thin wood just kind of put behind them. They shouldn't dig in once they're um, once they're tight though. Or if you got extras, you can put wood behind each one. All right, so we got a little bit of tension on the uh, roof, so we just go ahead and verify everything's still lined up properly. looks good. I'm going to check the other side. Alright, so this side is looking pretty good. And uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. And it doesn't matter if we have this little seam here either. That'll all be filled in eventually. 
just want to make sure our ends are flush on the one side anyway um, this side it's got a little bit of a wooey in I'm gonna have to work with a little bit but uh, as the glue sets up I'll come back out and re uh, reset it because right now the glue is too soft it kind of allows it to move back and forth but maybe here in another half hour or so it'll be a little more solid so we'll come out and fix it because this side kind of going in a little bit and then over here it's coming coming out from the wall and then here it's pushing back in so we're just gonna let it set up a bit and then I'll come out and I'll readjust the wall all right so after about an hour glue setting up pretty good making sure everything looking flush looking pretty good feels pretty good so uh, just needs to be close because we're gonna fill that and then uh, sand it when we're done anyway so it just needs to be fairly close and then we'll uh, smooth it all out 